Every Stock Lunch today, we are taking a look at three big movers. First up, Caterpillar. The company beat analyst estimates, reporting a double-digit rise in profit, but the stock is down about 6% on a weak outlook with signs of slowing machinery demand. So here with our trades is Boris Schlossberg of BK Asset Management. He's also a CNBC contributor. Boris, what's your trade on Caterpillar? So Caterpillar, I think, long term is definitely a buy because infrastructure is a, a woefully ignored piece of our uh, industry. And, it, you know, we've ignored it for decades and we're going to have to spend decades actually doing um, uh, infrastructure back. So to me, Caterpillar is a long term buy. It's a question whether tactically it's a buy right now. And I think probably a more intelligent trade right now is to simply sell 200 puts three months out, you're going to get about a 10% yield on uh, an investment while you're waiting. If the stock comes in, you buy it 10% cheaper. It is going to run into a little bit of turbulence now because of geopolitical concerns, because of rates. But overall, I definitely think it's a long-term buy. All right. Let's uh, talk about JetBlue. Shares now, 12-year low. Airline forecasts more losses for the fourth quarter and gets ready to head to court for the Spirit antitrust trial, trying to buy Spirit. Boris, what's your trade on JetBlue at $3.71? So, I mean, it's literally a punt at this point. I mean, you know, JetBlue has problems from every angle. Uh, the big problem, of course, is the merger with Spirit. If, if the Department of Justice does not let that go through, it's going to be a big problem for them, not only because they have to break up uh, the merger, but because Spirit itself will become a very, very formidable con uh, competitor to JetBlue. Uh, uh, secondly, um, the macro environment is starting to get a little bit more difficult for them, so they have to, you know, I think lower pricing. So from every angle, I think it's, it's a very tough trade unless – they get some kind of DOJ clearance, and then you, you, must, you might be able to get a stock that's two times uh, from this level. So um, you have to expect the fact that you're either going to lose your money or double it at this point. That's the punt in, uh, in JetBlue. Hmm. And finally, gold, the commodity testing the key $2,000 level for the first time since yes. May. So, Boris, what's your trade on gold? So, you know, I think it's, it's really interesting. If, if 220s are the, re, the return of the 1970s, all we need is bell-bottom jeans and uh, the rally <laughs> in gold, right? Um, I think gold is very interesting. It could be the sort of the hidden trade of 2024, especially if geopolitical tensions uh, rise up and if sovereign debt issues become a really, really big concern. We're watching this 2000 level very, very carefully. If it holds around these levels, it could be very much a trade all the way to the upside. There are three things that need to see gold to go up. One, it obviously holds 2000, ideally goes all the way to all-time highs, 2100. Two, you see volume at around a quarter of a million contracts on the CME. And three, it makes the cover of Barron's. That's going to, I think, create a lot of retail interest. So to me, gold is definitely a very, very interesting uh, trade at this point. It could be a trade of 2024 if things get worse. All right. Got it. Thank you very much for picking our three stocks for Three Stock Lunch for Schlossberg.